You on the air caller. Your thoughts on the Huntingville Mayor's race? Oh, hell, Mayor Holden's gonna win in a landslide. There is no doubt in my mind. I mean, for God's sakes, Baker was a school teacher. She'd know how to run a town. Huntingville's just a nice, quiet place to raise a family. Um, the election's about as exciting as it's gonna get around here. I know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna vote for Mayor Holden. <laughs> but I love Miss Baker. She's an amazing school teacher. Down Mrs. in the Baker? polls, but not out. Mrs. Patricia Baker. Caldwell Baker has a heartwarming reason for running for mayor this election day. We were thinking that he was going to start to run, but unfortunately that that didn't happen, and I'm carrying it on just for him. What kind of man was he? He was the finest man alive. <laughs> a lot of folks were laid off last year when the Holden factory was sold. My son was one of them, her daddy. Because that was when my, my husband Winston first got sick. He made me feel like I could do anything, and that's why I'm doing this. Because he told me I could. He was going to do it, I'm doing it for him. Well, you heard it here first. A family woman for a family town. This is the 660 News Special Report. Informing your world every six minutes. On the dot, in your spot. Election Day, Tuesday, November 8th, 2005. And this just in, a shocking disappearance has rocked the once quiet community of Huntingville. Sources tell 660 that a rigorous search is now underway. Mr. Wolfson, can we just have a moment of your time, sir? Can you comment on Rebecca's disappearance? Do you feel this is a direct attack on the mayor? Has anyone claimed responsibility? Are, are there any suspects in the case, Mr. Wolfson? We're confident of victory. Do you believe this is linked to its closing of the Holden Textile Factory? Huntingville, once home to a thriving textile manufacturing industry, now faces yet another tragic turn of events. A community member missing. It all happened right here at Mayor Holden's estate at around 7 a.m. this election day morning. Young Rebecca was in the backyard playing with her toys, a morning tradition before all of the children left for school. But this particular morning was shattered by a shocking disappearance. Can't imagine anybody wanting to do this. Hurt her, got for them. Something else. Founder and editor of ConspiredToConspire.com, Colonel George Walker strongly believes in the possibility of abduction. A lot of people dislike the mayor's recent economic policies. Layoffs are skyrocketing ever since the Holden factory's closing. And coincidentally, NASA just launched its new satellite telescope into orbit. This exclusive amateur video was taken on Rebecca's last birthday, her first without her mother, Mindy, who lost her longtime battle with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a rare genetic heart disease just over seven months ago. So it's says Tell Channel 10 that Rebecca has since suffered from depression and was, up until recently, a patient in psychiatric counseling. The scratch marks, that's when I knew she was being neglected. She was so thin, you know, like she hadn't been eating. Mrs. Baker, if this was one of your school children, what are some of the questions you would want answered? Well, Stanley, what I would want to know is, where was the supervision? Where was the babysitter? Ms. Rodriguez, when did you last see her? Has Rebecca tried to run away or hide from the family before? Do you know where Rebecca you is? Do your son has to put the record. Are you protecting him? Is he involved? Is the mayor forcing you to stay silent? Ms. Rodriguez! Son, were you watching Rebecca this morning? Get that camera out of here. You're gonna have to leave. Baker, Mrs. Baker, Mrs. Baker, Baker what's your message to the people of Huntingville? Just a remarkable turnaround for this campaign. Up six points, Baker continues to gain momentum. I'm gonna make a difference in this town. I'm gonna make it like it used to be when we were kids. Two teeth at the same time. Hi girls, how are you? I've run the after school program for 18 years. We are a family community, and this mayor's lack of concern for the safety of his own family is appalling. And that's why a group of mothers and I got together and we formed MAN, Mothers Against Neglect. Agent Jack Roberts was the head of Mayor Holden's security team until he was abruptly fired. A termination he believes was without merit. I've been a home security consultant for nine years. I saw obvious flaws in the mayor's security, but he told me it was not a priority. Grim news out of the Corner Street Fish Market this afternoon, where investigators have uncovered a body matching Rebecca's description. 
it is speculated that Rebecca was forcibly dragged behind this store where she was attacked and fatally wounded. Major developments in what is now being referred to as the Huntingville Mauling. At this hour, state animal control officers are on the hunt for this German Shepherd. The animal is said to be a carrier of the highly contagious rabies virus and should be considered extremely dangerous. Get out of my look. Got the sketches look a lot like Patricia Baker's dog. Mr. Just a go Mr. Wolfson's Wolfson's campaign 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 Mr. Uh, Mr. Wolfson's Mr. comments Mr. true, ma'am? He said what? That's a downright lie. How dare he? I, I, I don't even have a dog. Earlier reports are now proving false after the body's positive identification. Channel 10 News will update you on the situation as more details become available. You created something out of nothing. Trying oh, to smear come on now. You what is saying. the truth? You See, this we've is what this mayor is known look, for. You're, you're smear not, tactics look, and political lies. Is that going to be your platform on, for your next Baker. term? To lie to your constituents? This mayor is taking advantage of a terrible tragedy to smear my good name. Oh, that, I will enough. not stand for it. That's and it, let guys. me tell out, you, Mr. Out, Hogan, out. the voters no, will not stand no, for it either. No, it was a different town when I was a little girl. And I wanted to get back to that same kind of town where children can be safe and where jobs are more secure. Baker now just inches away. Scandal, the mayor's campaign has taken major blows. Crowley is described as a mutant for morality. Family woman. Are we rolling? Just as the polls close in Huntingville, it appears the search and rescue teams have found Rebecca alive. Rescue efforts are now underway. We're waiting for any sign now from rescue workers. Until now, young Rebecca's whereabouts have been virtually unknown. It's important to approach the victim carefully. You never know how the trauma they've suffered will affect them. Mahoney now cautiously entering. The disappearance has been receiving as much attention as the election. Waiting for any sign inside the treehouse. No word yet on her condition or who else is in the treehouse. Wait, there's definite movement. Rebecca? From Rebecca. here it appears Rebecca is Rebecca. unharmed, slightly dazed, but seemingly in good spirits. They're saying whether or not they believe foul play might have been a factor here. Quick word from officials yet as to who, if anyone at all, is responsible for today's disappearance. Her mother's death created a void that led to her depression. While some have dismissed this as a case of runaway, sources tell us that foul play may have been a factor. Some even whispering the name Patricia Baker. One thing is certain, Sue, Jenny Holden is definitely a happy little girl tonight. It's a heartwarming sight here in Huntingville Park as Rebecca is returned to her loving family, the Holdens. A tragedy avoided and a family reunited. Trent Fuller, Channel 5 News. Always glad when things work out like that. Well, when we come back, in a shocking turn of events, after the mayor's overwhelming 71% lead just hours ago, a last-minute surge at the polls puts Patricia Baker over the top as Mayor Robert Holden loses re-election for the first time. How will this affect the future of Huntingville? Our political analysts fire off. Plus, is your dinner contaminated with toxic rat poison? We'll tell you how this happened. And today's local sports scores and highlights with Chet. All that and more when we return. Stay with us.